So folks, most of the day today, uh, since uh, mid-morning, the guys, the linemen, have been attempting to restore power to Sunoco and other areas. Um, a big thank you for all of those and to all of those who have given so much to help their neighbor. Big, big thank you. Now, this video does not do this justice, and I probably should continue to stay out of their way. Um, but this video just does not do this big dip down here justice. Okay, that goes down about 80 foot, right about there. And it goes down pretty steep. I mean, it is a huge drop right there. It just goes down. Now, if I zoom in, it still doesn't give it justice. But you see, you see what looks like the top of brush? It ain't. It's treetops. Those are treetops. Now listen. You hear that? The guys are down there. And you can see some of the work that they were doing earlier. Uh, cutting down brush and trees. That's why it is so very, very... This is just one example. There are many. So very, very dangerous back here and this this all goes down to the Black Creek so that's why your prayers and your support is so appreciated so appreciated and a big thank you to everyone and the community that has come together to help each other even those that had very very little to give they have given and I've noticed that throughout life, that those that have less are more willing to give than those who have more. But that's just an observation, not always fact. So keep your fingers crossed and most of all pray. These guys have uh, families too, and they are working so hard, so hard, so hard to restore what we have been so blessed to have and that is power and the luxuries of the day the things that we have nowadays that you know didn't exist many many years ago we take those you see how easy it is we take those things for granted we do until it's not there anymore so like Robin Gilson says give somebody a hug Tell them that you love them. Let them know that you love them. Now, just in case you wondered, you know, our entryway to the Black Creek is past these bushes right yonder, right over here. And it's not very easy to get through. And that, too, dips down. But once you get there, yeah, it is kind of like finding a treasure with that boardwalk. However, there really is not a path, and this too dips down. So, you know, a big thank you to Antoine and to Steve and to my husband. Um, there is a treasure back there, but you have to be very, very, very careful. And uh, just very grateful to all of the linemen that deserve all the appreciation possible and your dedicated prayer. Ladies and gentlemen, from Hartsville, South Carolina, this is Rhonda Ray reporting.